Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Amanda and I do videos about my real life, reviews, and provide tips and advice. So feel free to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. For today's video, I'm providing you with five tips on preventing motion sickness. So I'm the type of person to get motion sick in... <laughs> that was my dog. <laughs> I am the type of person to get car sick sometimes when it comes to long car tr trips, even if I'm just sitting in the back seat. Also, I am the type of person to get motion sick or nauseous on bumpy plane rides or get seasick on boats or get car sick on either long car rides or even if I'm just in the back seat. So if this applies to you, feel free to continue watching. <laughs> Dang. So my first tip when feeling motion sick or before you feel like you're going to get nauseous, like before a car ride or before you get on the plane, I suggest you use the C-band. Basically, the C-band says it's the drug-free nausea, travel, and morning sickness relief. And it says it has been clinically tested against nausea and vomiting in travel, pregnancy, post-operative, chemotherapy, and other conditions which induce nausea. And it basically exerts pressure on an acupressure point in your wrist. So right there, it's got this little bump inside the wristband, as you can see, and that kind of creates pressure on that pressure point in your wrist. I use this as like a first step or like a way to prevent motion sickness or nausea because I feel like this is like the first layer of protection against it. So if it's like short flights, I'll put this on super simple. If it's gonna be a long car ride, I might put this on my wrist and that helps, I feel like. Some people say it might be like a placebo effect. Could be, but it kind of works for me, so I'm not mad about it and I'm not gonna challenge it. The second thing that I do to prevent motion sickness is to take Dramamine. So you may have heard of Dramamine or have already tried it before, but basically you take this half an hour to an hour before you do the activity that might make you nauseous. And so I will take this before pretty much every long flight just in case there's any turbulence and you know especially if I'm going on a boat or something that I know will probably most likely get me motion sick I will take this. This is probably the strongest thing that I will do to help prevent nausea and basically I will take one of these. Usually one works. If for example I'm already on the plane and they say it's gonna be a bumpy ride, then I might just take two just in case because they have notified that it's going to be bumpy which may most likely means I need like the strongest stuff just in case. That is what I do to prevent motion sickness that I know is coming up soon. The next three things that I do are what I do if I'm starting to feel motion sick, like in the process of feeling nauseous. So the first thing is I will just take a nap or I will fall asleep. So I will try to fall asleep on the plane or the car or whatever it is. And usually I feel a lot better afterwards. And if you can fall asleep like in a car or a plane easily like I can, I would definitely recommend doing that if you don't mind taking a nap in the middle of the day or whatever. I find that when I wake up, I feel less sick and I kind of feel over it or forget about it and so that's a nice thing to do or try out. The fourth thing that I do is to keep myself entertained. So this is kind of totally opposite from taking a nap or falling asleep but I will either put on a movie or listen to something that will keep my mind off of thinking about being motion sick or getting motion sick. And this is just something for me, I get anxiety when I think about things too often. And so for me, I will constantly think like, oh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get sick, I'm gonna get sick. So keeping myself entertained by watching a movie that I know I really like, or a TV show or listening to music or something like that, that keeps my mind off of those thoughts and thinking that I'm going to get sick. And so that helps. So I always download something, say on Netflix or something like that before long rides. The last thing that I do if I'm starting to feel sick um, is 
to eat something that helps me. I don't know what it is, but I've started to realize that sour candy helps me kind of not feel as sick and that's just me. So you might have a different snack or a different food item that makes you feel better, but for me it's sour candy and I just love sour candy, but I think like the sugar in it kind of helps me, but also the fact that I love it also helps. Kind of find what food or snack helps make you feel better or, you know, puts you in a good mood and maybe that's a solution to help you when you're kind of starting to feel on the verge of getting sick. All of those kind of either prevent me from getting sick or help defer me from getting sick if I'm starting to feel it coming on. So I hope those five things helped you. Please give it a like if it did and comment down below if you have any tips or tricks for preventing motion sickness. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.